Did you know Dr. William Kolf, a Dutch physician, is considered the father of dialysis for building the dialyzer or artificial kidney in the year 1943. In dialysis, the blood is cleaned using a liquid called diacylate or bath. A dialysis machine acts like an artificial kidney to filter out the waste from a person's body whose kidneys have stopped functioning normally. Our kidneys carry out the important function of filtration. Let's see how. The blood that is sent from the heart contains both the essential nutrients and the non-essential nutrients. Essential nutrients include glucose, water and some important salts. Whereas non-essential nutrients may consist of toxic metabolic waste. The blood then enters the kidney through the renal artery. The main function of the kidneys is to separate the toxic non-essential nutrients from the blood and keep only the essential ones. This is done by the nephrons in three steps. Ultrafiltration, selective reabsorption and urine formation. Let us understand each of these steps in detail. The renal artery branches to form arterioles and each arteriole then enters the glomerulus which consists of twisted and coiled capillaries. The walls of these capillaries act as a sieve and only allow the liquid part of the blood that is the plasma to leak out in the cup like Bowman's capsule. This separation happens under high pressure and at a molecular level so it is called ultrafiltration. At the same time the blood without the blood cells and proteins of filtrate passes into the remaining parts of the renal tubule. It is in the renal tubules that the essential nutrients are retained back and the waste is removed out. As the filtrate passes through the tubule, the components like glucose, water and some salts required by the body are absorbed back by the blood capillaries surrounding the tubules. The filtrate left behind contains only the metabolic waste and is called urine. This process of absorbing back the required substances by the body is called selective reabsorption. At this stage, the two components are separated. The essential components that return back to the capillaries are finally transported to the renal vein which then takes it back to the heart. Similarly, the urine formed passes to the collecting tubule and exits the kidney via the renal pelvis into the ureter and then into the urinary bladder. Normally in an adult human body, kidneys produce about 1.5 liters of urine each day. The dialysis machine replicates exactly the same mechanism done by the kidneys in a patient's body whose kidneys do not function properly. Hence it is rightly called an artificial kidney. Until next time.